Well, here we are once again. Rock and roll! Anyway, the, this video series is to celebrate my 150th YouTube upload! Hey! So, yeah, 150 videos. What an incredible waste of time. Now, I often, I get comments and personal messages. Petey, how do you do it? Your videos, you know? And so, I'm trying to give back, because honestly, without you guys, the community, I mean, you know, what would I be? I mean, I work for a week plus on making a video. I get seven views, one thumbs up. Thanks, Donna. And, I mean, like I said, so anyway, this series is a uh, little bit helpful hints about how to maybe up your game, because that's what I'm trying to do. This whole thing is a learning process. So, uh, this is the first one that I'm doing about actual video, like how do you make a decent quality video? So I'm going to be giving up my trade secrets because you know, well, like if you look down there and click on the little gear, you'll see how high up mine actually go. So this is a little something that I hacked together. This is my camera that I use to film all of my videos. Um, this is, it's all analog and I can get the resolution that I can get on this model is really, it's stunning. It's actually quite breathtaking, the quality that you can get. Now, if you look in here, this is the reel-to-reel. -reel. This is where the data is recorded. And um, see, this one spins, and this one spins too. And so you close this up. This is, uh, it's a solar-powered unit. And um, it does have a memory card uh, which is 64 megabytes and what I do is I'll shoot with this sucker here and it is it started its life I needed the chassis this is an actual Barbie karaoke machine and if you if you've been paying attention you'll know how fond I am of the Mattel toy products especially the Barbie line that's that's the stuff right there that's good good stuff now so what we do is after I get done shooting I, uh, I do not insert the card directly into the computer. I use a modified uh, card reader, which is, ah, it's around here somewhere. But anyway, you take the back off of the card. Like this is my secrets for my editing and my effects. Rather than like having to, you know, buy an editing suite, which they're expensive. Sony Vegas Pro, it's like 800 bucks. So what I do is... I will shoot on several different memory cards, and while I'm transferring the footage, I do a hot swap method, okay? So on my computer, because I'm running Windows 95, when I have time when I pull a memory card out. You get about two and a half seconds before you jam another one in, and it'll continue with the stream. So that's how I get my cuts, and they're razor sharp. As long as you're in that two and a half second window, you'll be fine. Now, as to the effects, there's two different methods that I use, uh, base methods to start to achieve the effects, and I get, you just kind of, like, I remember how to do it. I never made a chart or anything. So depending on what I want, uh, the first method is I have the back removed off of the, uh, the card reader, and then I'll lick my finger, and I'll go in and circuit bend, the two data ports, the two data lines, that's like pin two and three on USB. So depending on how wet my finger is and how much pressure I use, you'll get it down. The technique will vary the amount of effect. And also, this unit, it is solar powered. So like I can hook up a strobe onto the solar powering. And then also, again, with the licky, licky, sticky, sticky on the PCB, there's no telling any kind of combination of like unbelievably cool effects that I can get. So there you go. I mean, you don't need like a Logitech C10, C910, you know, expensive webcam or like uh, a JVC. What's our camera model number? I don't know. The JVC, the expensive handheld one that you could get for like 30 bucks from an open box half off special if you wait long enough and procrastinate from Best Buy. You don't need to waste your money getting those things. You can just go ahead and slap one of these together. Google's your friend once again. So 
thank you very much. I'm going to be coming right back at you with some more amazing video tips for DIY and hacker types. Uh, get in your hack space. Get those soldering irons warmed up. You know, don't forget to licky, 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 sticky, sticky. And most importantly, peace and keep on hacking. This is...